Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a Friday coding interview exercise. In today's video, we are going to talk about the topic of how to reverse a singly length list. So for some of you guys that are new to the channel, uh, every Friday we go over an interesting coding algorithm challenge uh, that you'll typically see during an on-site technical interview. So it really helps to understand how to do some of this stuff here. And without further ado, let's take a look at exactly what a singly linked list is, and then I'll go over what kind of the interview questions would look like. All right, so set up here inside of Playgrounds, I have uh, two things which are sectioned off. And this is the example of what my linked list will kind of look like. So we have one, two, three, and nil. And the way a singly linked list works is you have the header of the node, which is currently the one value, and it, there's a pointer that points to the two, and then the two points to the three, and then we have nil, which represents the end of our list. And uh, after the interviewer kind of tells you what the sample list is, they'll also give you kind of a data structure for how to support this list here. And basically we have this node class, and the node class has two very important properties. One is the value, which is going to capture one, two, and three. And then we have this next thing right here, which is an optional node class. And basically the next will just point to the next value inside of our list. And typically uh, people will call it a next pointer. And uh, now is kind of the interesting part of the exercise. And basically how would we use this node class to kind of build this list right here? All right, so let's see. Uh, using this node class to build out this list is pretty straightforward if we build out the head node first, which is this one node right here. Let's equal to node. Now let's use the value of one. The next node will be this two node I create right above. Value of two. The next for the two will be this three node, which will be node value three. And the next on the three will be this nil right there. Next right here will be the three node, and this will be the two node right here. Make sure the error goes away, and we should be okay. So before we get into how to reverse a list, first we kind of need to know how to print out this entire list using this function right here, function print list. And this will take in a parameter of head uh, optional node, and it needs to do something for us. So printing out list of nodes and uh, now that we have this function let's print a list of the one node so what does this give us well at the very bottom we have just printing out list of nodes and uh, it's doing that because this print list function obviously doesn't do very much yet okay so let's get some extra space down here what do i need to do to print out this list well the kind of secret sauce to this problem is to uh, use a while loop so let's use a while loop like that. And what is the terminating condition? Well, it's pretty simple. If you declare this current node guy right here, I'm gonna set it equal to head. And basically the way this while loop works is that I'm going to just iterate through the entire list using the current node's next property. And I'm going to say current node equals current node dot next like that. And to terminate the loop, I'll just say while current node is not equal not equal to nil and that'll give us sort of our iteration to print out each one of these values let's print out uh, let's see current node dot value and you'll kind of see in the console right here what's going on one two three to get rid of that optional you can unwrap it with a double question mark and use perhaps negative one as a default value and that gives us printing out list nodes one two three so pretty good stuff. The print function, I think, is pretty straightforward and <laughs> pretty simple. Now comes the interesting coding challenge. So the interviewer will now kind of ask you to implement this function called reverse, uh, reverse list that also takes in this head node optional. And typically, it'll return this optional node guy, which is the head of our reverse list. And just to make the error go away, let's return this nil object. Okay, now the error is going to go away. And basically what this needs to print out or how to use this reverse list function is to call it uh, via this call right here, let reversed, uh, let's see, my reversed list equals reverse list of this one node guy as our head. 
and if we call print the list on this my reversed list guy, this needs to needs to print out uh, let's see three, two, and one. Whereas the current list prints out one, two, and three. So this problem right here, reverse list, this is actually a, an interview question that I've gotten in the past, and I found it very difficult and very challenging to solve. So I'm gonna try my best to explain what the solution is, and then we'll kind of walk through exactly how the solution works. All right, so the trick for a reverse list is to kind of run through the exact same thing that we did for print list. So I'm going to say current node equals the head guy again, use this while loop, and I'm going to say while current node is not equal to nil, not equal to nil, we're going to advance through the list with current node dot next, uh, like that. So that's going to just simply iterate through the entire length list for us. And uh, the trick here is to kind of do a couple of different things inside of our looping. And uh, let's see, what is the trick? Well, let me declare two other variables that will capture the previous node, like this, and also the next node, like so. All right, so the solution is this, and I want to just give it to you right away, and then I will explain and walk through each one of these iterations. So the solution is to figure out how to capture this next node to be the current node.next, like so. And then we need to capture the previous node to equal the current node like that. And inside of this iteration, if we perform current node equals, uh, let's see, previous like this, or current node.next equals a previous, we can also finally change this implementation to use the next pointer instead. Okay. And at the very end of this looping right here, instead of returning nil, I'll return this previous node. So this is the very, very tricky implementation of this problem. And you see the solution down here prints out three, two, one. So what's going on here and how does this solution work? Well, the one thing you need to realize about this problem is that this list right here, the one, two, three, you need to understand that the way that you want to reverse this list is to not can reconstruct the entire list again, but you just want to flip the direction of these arrows. So in the very end, what I need to come out with is I need to come out with some kind of list that looks like this right here. So nil, let's see, arrow two, and that is three. So this is the list that I end up with. And the previous node uh, somehow ends up to be this three value right here. So the way this iteration inside of this loop works is at the very beginning of the loop, we have this one as the head that we're passing in, and previous is nil at the very beginning, and we're setting the current nodes next to be the previous. So basically, the very first iteration will change the list so that we flip the arrow of the very first node to look like that, and this will continue to print to, or point to the two and the three, and goes to the nil. And with each cycle of the loop, the arrow flips so that it flips this way right here. So the one, this arrow now flips over to that. And then this is still in the same rightward direction to the nil. And then the final iteration will give us the one right here. And this is the two. And then we need to get the three right here. And this final list is basically this right here. And then what we do is we, we return the three as the previous node at the very end, like right there, and it gives us this list right here. So we, if we just reverse the or orientation of this list, we get three, two, one, and nil, like that. So one other very helpful trick to understanding this implementation is to use a couple of print statements down right here. So I think it's very helpful to enter this print statement right here. So print, and we'll just, use these two values right here. So we'll use what is the previous node. We'll print out previous dot value. And let's just unwrap it like so. Uh, current is this, see, current, uh, current node dot value like so. Unwrapping it with this double question mark again. And then finally, if we use 
uh, next right here to be, let's see, next.value, unwrap it like that. And I think we should be okay with the console down below. I think this question mark needs to go away and then we should be okay. Okay, so down here is the actual print statement of what's going on. You can see that current node uh, with each iteration of the, of the loop will print out one, two, three. And then the previous is basically one uh, is nil at the very beginning and one and two. And we're just uh, constantly reversing the direction of the pointer, which is this current node.next equals previous. And then the next node is two, three, and nil. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Uh, I think the problem set to reversing a linked list, it's a very, very common question to receive during a coding interview. So it helps to understand how it works. I do recommend going through the example a couple of times to see exactly what is going on and definitely prepare for this problem if you're interviewing for a software engineering position. All right, so remember the code for all of this stuff is available in the description below. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you want more algorithm challenges like this. Uh, that's going to be it for me. Uh, keep on coding guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.